Okay, hello and welcome everybody, this is Dr Destiny here and I'll be covering the weekly reset for the 6th of September now, 2016 and now we are a few weeks away from Rise of Iron we're going to get shown a road with this for today we've got the weekly Crucible players which is Inferno 6 vs 6 do 3 D's to get 30 marks and your first sterling treasure good way to farm some Crucible packages we've got daily which is Rumble, make sure you do that 15 marks search the darkest corners of the Hellmouth and then we have got the weekly heroic so we've got Solar Burn Chaff which means there's no radar and Catapult you get more grenades so obviously something is very good farmable good to get legendary engrams and keeping them ready for the rise of iron do three of these to get 30 marks so again if you want to get some last minute vendor purchases get that and then obviously save up for 200 marks ready for the rise of iron this week's nightfall we have void burn berserk brawler and airball and this is the cerberus vein cerberus vey nightfall and this is one where you can obviously farm for the tread upon stars which is a scout rifle pretty good not the best out there but you can get some decent rolls of it so pretty sterling weapon and you can probably use that in pve more than the crucible from what i've used it in the past going to the prison builders make sure you do your level 41 get your sterling treasure and you get the 30 legendary marks if you do it three times and um, sterling treasures are going to be stopping i think in two days time so make sure you get them this week and for challenge of the elders we've got super kill bonus exposure and specialist so specialist is obviously special ammo or special weapons so it does more damage etc okay now we're going to go over to the brief and then we've got pet revenge usual stuff pick up your bounties for this try and get this nearly capped out until the end of the level same as all the other ones like vanguard stuff like that but more so with the ones like vanguard because also you get packages from them which would be higher light level i don't think you can from the taken but either way if you want to get them capped up then you can get some strange coins which will help you buy some heavy ammo sim stuff ready for obviously rise of iron when that is released and materials as well and the usual stuff from varics get your elder sigil and obviously pick up the bounties and the usual stuff. Go over to the tower and then we've got the bounties for the crucible. Make sure you do five of these and you get your rewards at the end. Again, this is probably pretty good just to do the bounties, get yourself nearly edged out on all three characters up until the crucible. Your next crucible package is ready and save that ready for when obviously Rise Iron comes out. So what I'm personally doing for preparation for Rise Iron is doing that, making sure I have like 50 points, 100 points before I go into the next level. Saving motes of lights, strange coins, when Zer comes, buy heavy ammo simps because you're not really going to be buying much now anyways from him. Um, get yourself ready for factions, so obviously use your motes of lights when the factions are nearly leveled and if you can probably level them up once or twice once the DLC does release. Uh, same with the gunsmith, potentially they're going to be revamping that as well so obviously get yourself nearly to a level. So get yourself most of the weapons to test them out to get yourself nearly to the end of the level and obviously once Rise of Iron is released then you do go over and you can get weapons for that uh, engrams you can obviously farm them in the weekly heroics stuff like that but obviously bear in mind you may go over a level for the vanguard if you do that but either way it's probably good to do that save them in your vault and obviously pop some free coins where you're doing that save literally uh, exotic engrams in there as well and uh, just general stuff like that so get materials uh, most light heavy ammo simps because you can obviously trade them in to get levels for certain factions and obviously on all three characters you can do the same thing as well so you can pledge your allegiance to someone get them needed to the end of the level pledge your allegiance for next week and then do the same thing if you're going to do that you should have done that already obviously cause we're two weeks away and obviously you have to do that every three weeks but get yourself to a level and then pledge your allegiance to somebody else and you have to wait till the next week until you do that and then obviously go back to the one that you want to level up and you do it like that but I would say when it comes to the engrams, do not decrypt them straight away. Do the story campaign first, so the first five missions, maybe a few strikes, because you'll get some loot in that anyways. And then obviously then start popping the legendaries and maybe some of the exotics, so you can obviously get some higher light level stuff. Enough of that rambling. We've obviously got the challenge of King's Hall this week, and it is Oryx, so obviously the 16 orb strat. And then for the Court of Oryx, there's no gameplay in the background of it, unfortunately, this week because I don't have any runes, but just me playing on Dreadnought. It is mini Crota, so obviously the usual stuff if you've done Crota before. Shoot the Wizards, shoot the Sword Bearer, then shoot Crota or mini Crota, get his shield down, and then the Sword Bearer hit him, rinse and repeat until he dies. And you can obviously get that for the Castle Fragment and up to 335 artifacts. 
Fair Guardians, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you all in the next video. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, it always helps me out. And then tell me what you're looking forward to and what your preparation is for Rise of Iron for the 20th, which is not too long now. We've got 14 days, so exactly two weeks. So one more reset, and then after that is Rise of Iron. Bye, Guardians.